Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. <sighs> I am here to do your collective love reading. This is for the general collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Um, just click off. There's other um, readers on YouTube that are absolutely fabulous, right? Um, and if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel um, and help. Let's let's keep it growing, right? Let's keep it growing. Um, yeah, it's great because I swear, <laughs> I swear, up until the central focus, up until the central focus, um, I thought for sure that that. I was pulling it. It's almost like a personal reading for me here, except for right here. But um, I just love this. So this is great. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get started. The overall energy. Sorry. I'm just really excited tonight. The overall energy is the chariot. Okay. Um, uh, cancer energy. You could be a cancer. Your person could be a cancer. Um, but this is fast forward movement, movement, and when I say fast, I mean like barreling through, super powerful, really super fast, okay? This is something that can't be stopped. This is you um, holding on to, to the reins and controlling this thing, taking charge of your own destiny, and going, th going to something with a passion like as fast as you can, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a, a King of Cups, actually. A King of Cups could also be feeling this way, wanting to come in your direction as quickly as possible. This is a person who has a lot of love to give, okay? Um, they've got a lot of love inside for you, but they're not going to show it on the outside, all right? They don't wear their emotions on their sleeve, but perhaps somebody wants to come towards you and offer you a cup of love. Um, oh, geez, this is telling a story. Um, and Or a message of stability. This is um, Page of Pentacles. So this would be like a brand new beginning stages of a message. Stability would, to me, would mean like, can we, can we just be friends kind of thing? Speak to each other in a friendly sort of way, perhaps. Um, and this is probably a person from your past. Somebody's feeling very stout and nostalgic about this person. This came out in the pre-shuffle as well, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's the energy. Is this fast forward movement that I mean, you could somebody could jump in front of this thing. This it would just barrel right over them. This is something that cannot be stopped. Um, happiness, complete happiness here. You could also be dealing with a Leo. Um, but somebody's really happy, has a lot of clarity, is going to cut out some, um, some crap and um, clear the air and communicate um, for a passionate new beginning. Um, yeah, this is a, a brand new passionate new beginning. And when I say passion, I mean something that you feel so passionate about, right? It, it, this could be, um, a, this wand could be used as a male phallic in order to be intimate. Somebody may want to come in and, and possibly have sex or something, but I'm really feeling this as, you know, we've got a new beginning, new beginning, happiness, new beginning. What? <laughs> That's why I was like, hey, <laughs> is this for me? Um, yeah, and this sign is also pointing at the Cancer, so you definitely could be a Cancer, okay? If you are, yeah, woo-woo, right? Me too. Um, yeah, but this is somebody who's taking a leap of faith, a leap of faith into a brand new beginning, okay? Taking that step off. They're like, no, nah, forget it. I'm, I'm just going to do it. Yeah, and they're going to defend that with everything they can against any opinions that come at them. They're like, listen, I've got to do this. Yeah, I've got to do this, man. Um, yeah, because they want their abundance. They want that happy family, happy life, happy wife. Um, tons of pentacles here. They want a happy ending to this. This is a happy ending, okay? Um, and here comes the sun. Let's see. 
Oh, 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 because something I think is just dead. Something, so, I feel like somebody's letting something die here. A third party situation, perhaps. Here's that sort of clarity, yeah? They got a sort of clarity that there's some type of third party situation. Now that can be a third party situation. Could be a love situation, right? This is a love thing. Could be um, a, a friend, a hobby, a job, anything that, you know, you're sharing your time to kind of thing, you know, your, sh your time with. Sharing your time with, but not in a love reading. I'm seeing this as this is taking a break, meditating on something, praying, doing a lot of praying. Somebody could be praying here for their happiness and a new beginning, but I'm really feeling like this is something that's being laid to rest because somebody got clarity because I'm seeing the clarity here. So that's what I'm going for. Something's being laid to rest. Okay. Possibly something from the past. It could have something to do with a third party situation. Someone though out there is very sad that um, these cups were knocked over. Somebody turned their back on this love. Um, that's kind of how I'm seeing it because their two of cups here is right behind them. And, they, and it's almost like they're not looking at these three of cups knocked over. They're looking off. Um, head all bun, uh, bent over and covered in this dark shawl. I think this was a third party situation. All the love was knocked out of everything. Like I think this person feels like they may have lost all everybody. Okay, because they turn their back on a soulmate connection. They turn their back on love. Okay, and a real love, a real connection. And this person is very, very sad. I think maybe this person is doing some praying. Please, can I have just another opportunity at this real thing? Maybe thinking of their happiness as well, but. Ooh, that flew out. Yeah, there were a lot of secrets here. Um, once again, cancer. Cancer. Having clarity to, with the things that were hidden. I feel like you may even be annoyed by it. You may even feel annoyed at all of the people perhaps just kind of barking at you or people that are not approving of your decisions or people and their opinions or something like that. But I think people are causing a ruckus, disturbing your peace. You're kind of feeling aggravated. Um, that's if you're a Cancer. There could be lies here that have been hidden. There could be secrets that have been hidden. I see these two different things here. Um, pillars like and every time I see two things, I'm seeing that there may be two things to choose from. That could aggravate somebody. If somebody secretly still has two different people to choose from, that would aggravate somebody. Yeah, and it would make all of that happy ending that we just saw, right? The Ten of Cups all get knocked out. Yep, I feel like somebody had a chance. They had a chance. Somebody in your past had a chance at true love, a soulmate connection, okay? But they lost it over a third party. And now they're really sad. They're doing a lot of praying to get to get somebody back. I feel it might be a Cancer, could be um, an air sign as well, a Leo, um, or your person could be a Leo. But yeah, um, this person, the secret here, the thing that's hidden is that they still are trying to make a decision. Um, I think it's causing a lot of ruckus in that person's head as well um, but yeah definitely it brings an uh, kind of an end to this well this is wish fulfillment um, this is the nine of cups sorry I was thinking it was the ten of cups um, but the nine of cups yeah well wish fulfillment yeah toast yep somebody lost their wish I think and it could have been a cancer over a cancer sign I don't know. You could be a Cancer and your person could be a Leo. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so anyway, yeah, but whoever this is, you've gotten clarity. Okay, you've gotten clarity. You're going to cut some things out. 
you're gonna um, possibly communicate your truth um, and you're just gonna clear the air with that that's like a brand new beginning too because you have to realize and see things for what they really are in order to get this brand new beginning this is a passionate brand new beginning here um, but I want to see this nine of cups in reverse what's up with that you know the nine of cups is like a celebration card somebody's not celebrating somebody's not partying somebody I feel it's this person here that lost the, his wish um, yeah they're not they're not partying they're not celebrating and they're not getting wish fulfillment here with it in reverse like they're feeling down in the dumps right now basically is what it is they're feeling really down in the dumps possibly could have yeah I feel like they're trying to get away from something or running away from something that they did in the past I feel like they're really trying to run away from something that they did in the past and that thing that they did was very selfish and very mean and they didn't give a crap at the time when they did it this is stab backstabbing people putting people down trashing them just being horrible to somebody and not giving a crap and and but i also see that they're trying to like i just see this person's trying to get away with it they're trying to they don't care yeah and this is why though this is why they're losing out on their wish fulfillment um, I feel like they could be being watched at work or you could be being watched at work. Uh, they may want to work on things here with the Three of Pentacles. I'm just seeing that somebody's watching them, like handing them a long list of crap. They may feel, you or your person may feel very burdened at work, um, but they feel like they, they want to work on it because they feel like they really did miss this opportunity. And it wasn't just an opportunity they know that this was a gift from the divine the divine was trying to hand it to them the whole time but all they could do was focus on this third party situation and all down in the dumps see they're down in the dumps they want to work on it now yeah they and you know they may want to communicate with, with you about this this person may not be very happy about this at all um, they may want to cut something out, like I said, cut something out that no longer serves them, um, and com they want to communicate. But sometimes the way the communication is delivered by the King of Swords isn't the best way. Like, I mean, it can really sting, you know? Um, so that's why I'm kind of feeling like this person may not be in the best of moods over this, or... I feel like person the person um, that's watching, you're having a brand new beginning, and I feel like your person is praying to have a brand new beginning with you. In, in a lot of aspects, you're mirroring each other, okay? Because you've got that same energy of, I just want to start over, you know? I want to start this new thing. I want to, I don't care who says what, I'm doing it. Um, you know, that kind of, this chariot kind of energy, the chariot kind of energy, that's what you guys both share. That's what I'm feeling, but in different ways. I think you're going after something completely brand new that you're really passionate about and they're now, they're now regretting things that happened between you and them and want to come back, want to, want another chance with you. So it's, okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm like, did I lose you guys on that one? Probably. All right, we'll just move on. <laughs> That's the kind of mood I'm in. I'm like, all right, you know what? Um, yeah, because somebody does want to take a leap of faith, but I'm also seeing the fool here. So like I said, same card, right? Mutual energy, but in different ways. So person watching I feel like you're wanting to take a leap of faith and I think once again you may be a cancer I'm seeing cancer all over this okay um, but I'm seeing a lot of signs so it doesn't really matter guys but on the other flip of the coin I think somebody feels like a fool okay 
Either way, I think you're both defensive. This is the weird part. I mean, it's it's like you're both in this together. Your energy is merging together, kind of. The dynamic is really weird. I, I can't quite this, describe it to you. Um, it's like I'm reading for two people feeling the same way, but in kind of weird ways that connect. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay, so anyway, yeah, mutual energy, having regrets, having remorse, um, because somebody really, really wants to build a, a foundation here. However, there were too many people involved. That's what I'm seeing. And somebody's having regrets because they just played with two people. Uh, like, um, you know, whether they strung along one or both, I don't, I don't know. Every situation is different, but this person has a ton of regrets. Well, yeah, I feel like, like I said again, you probably have regrets about it too, don't you, person watching? You know, it's just that your regrets, I'm sure, are a little bit different, right? That's what I was saying. All right, clarify this four of wands here. Why is this person regretting? Normally, this is a building a stable kind of foundation and people coming together and celebrating. Um, yeah, the, the regret here, and this is mutual. This person's biggest regret is that they lost love over this third party situation. But they're most regretful because they may have wanted a reunitement with this Queen of Cups, Cancer energy, okay? I'm gonna have to put can put a Cancer on this here, Cancer read. But um, yeah, lots of Cancer here. They wanted this reunitement, but you, person watching, have chosen to pull your energy away. You're not offering them that cup of love anymore. That's too special of, of a love to offer. In reverse, you're just not gonna offer it anymore. Okay, and that's what they regret. You person watching, you're just regretting that they had too many people involved, you know, and you're not gonna offer your cup of love anymore. I mean, it's weird, because you guys are just like, I don't know, you're, you're like working off of each other. I can't quite describe it. It's really, really weird. <laughs> Um, yeah, and a decision has been made here, it looks like. Somebody was in the crossroads um, energy for a while. Okay, this can take a while, and I'm feeling stagnancy here. Um, oh God, that is so weird. But not anymore. This person has decided. They're like, you know what? No, I, I've decided here. Um, Knight of Swords energy here in reverse. I don't know if this came out. This had to have come out when I was clarifying this, but I'm going to put it in between the two. No one has come in with an offer. This is why I'm talking about the stagnancy here. Um, there's been no offers. The, this person here has a lot of regrets, okay? The regret is, is that they made the offer, I think, to, to one of these two, but but it wasn't it wasn't offered to the right person okay see they were going after this kind of love and you can only get that from a queen of cups and they didn't offer it to the queen of cups and that's why this person's very regretful but they do know who they want now but person watching i feel like you've made a decision about something too and you know what you want you're going to your abundance this is that Ten of Cups. See, you're going to get your Ten of Cups. You're going to get your wish fulfillment. You're going to get your happy ending. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> and this is generational wealth. Look at, look at the grandpa dude in the background. See the grandpa dude here? And the kid, little kid pulling on the dog. The kid is torturing the dog here in this picture. That's happy. No, he's just scratching his butt. But yeah, you're going to get all the happiness. You're going to get that happy ending. And you're going to meet somebody, too, from what I'm looking at. You're going to meet someone. 
in passing almost it looks like but it's coming yeah that brand new beginning look at that yeah and lots of options oh my goodness okay hold on so yeah happy ending right this is the happiest like most abundant kind of it's just very abundant and solid and stable and wonderful and great financially set brand new beginning being handed to you okay a brand new abundant beginning person watching because you've got so many options to choose from but you're figuring out exactly the right one see all of these options are here you could pick from it but you can now see clearly which ones actually glow and the ones that that glow are the ones for you so you have the power of discernment now to choose the right options for you and that's why everything's going to be handed to you everything everything and you know why because you drew boundary lines you decided i don't want to be treated like a piece of crap anymore do i look like a turd to you no i'm wearing a crown yeah that's right I'm way better than what you people have treated me. And so, you know what? Yeah, sure, you can come and talk to me if you will. You can come and talk to me. But you better bring the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Or I'm going to cut you out of my world without batting an eyelash. And because you have stood your ground, and because you have been through the ringer, and dragged through the mud, and left for dead probably in a lot of instances I mean that's probably how you feel right you've been really really mistreated um, but through that all that was to give you the power of discernment you know and and expect the truth from people and draw, draw those boundary lines that needed to be there they needed to be there and that that way you're not wasting your time your energy and your future and your blessings on people that just are horrible to you right that people that take advantage of you no no you're gonna pick the right ones for you and use your power of discernment to fend off all the other piece of crap options right <laughs> or just options that aren't for you and um, yeah, because of all of that, this is what you get. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Stability and happiness. Yep, and it's a gift for you because you finally figured out that you deserve better. Yeah, you're going to be the queen of pentacles. This is also um, a committed person, so maybe a commitment is in your future, but yeah. You are going to be the queen of pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. All right, so let's get let's get a possible outcome here for this situation. I see one person starting new and the other person wanting to come to come back in. That's what I'm feeling like. You both want a brand new beginning. It's just in different places right now. <laughs> But honestly, the person who's starting brand new, I don't think that they I don't think that they're aware of how the other person wants to come to them, you know, because they missed an opportunity. I don't think they're aware of it. Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. Um, not only that, but this is the lovers. This is the twin flame soulmate connection card, the only one in the deck. So you may be a twin flame soulmate connection, but if you're not or you're not sure. It's a very, very, very powerful love connection. Like, you can really feel this person's energy, okay? And that's where the mirroring comes into. They can feel your energy. You can feel their energy. And you guys are feeding that, that buildup with each other. It's kind of, I can't describe it. Okay, I just, like the Divine Feminines, you know, um, they kind of, by raising their vibrations, it helps to raise the Divine Masculine's vibrations, okay? And I think that's what's going on in, in, your, in your connection right now. 
So you're really feeling each other. You're really mirroring each other. I feel though, however, that this person may come to you and they're going to be excited. Like they're going to be so happy to see you. It's probably been a while. Um, but the look on the woman's face is very kind of doubtful. I don't feel like the woman, I think the woman in this situation, whoever the feminine energy is going to be in this situation may have their trust issues or doubts about this person when they come in. But this is, this is kind of a meant to be kind of thing. This is a happy ending. That's that Ten of Pentacles again. There it is. Ten of Pentacles, you know, because somebody has been wishing for this. This is the wish fulfillment. Now they, perhaps they learned, or you've learned some lessons. Okay, and now perhaps it's time for this to come together full circle. All right, with all new beginnings, because the cycle just started, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if you can feel it, but I'm being absolutely pulled in in a certain direction, and I'm answering to that call. So, because it's very overwhelming, okay? So, that could be happening with you. It could be happening with a lot of people out there. Um, we're all kind of being pulled to follow our, our destiny right now. And I think this is part of this person's destiny and probably part of your destiny. Somebody's been making a wish here for this. And I think it's coming in. Um... Yeah, why not? I'll keep using this deck. I was possibly going to switch decks, but no, I'll keep going on it. All right. What else can you show us, Divine, about the possible outcome for this? I think this, um, really, there's mostly Cancer in here. There's a lot of air, um, fire, uh, earth. Um, you know, I could also see it as somebody is coming in to offer you a possible um, commitment. But I'm just, I'm really just seeing it that you're going to be really, really abundant here and happy because you're standing your ground. You're seeing enough of the crap. <laughs> Yay! All right. Um, sorry, I'm just in such a great mood tonight. Like, you guys... Oh, I wish I could give you detailed information about my life because, you know, I really want to... Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, this is a soulmate connection here. Well, hold on a second, though. I've got two couples here. Or I've got this person who who may still be at a crossroads and haven't hasn't done anything about anything yet that could be but I'm seeing a light couple here a lighter see the lighter shades and see the darkness of these right and I just get the feeling and this is a this is a um, twin flame soulmate card this one is a soulmate card okay um, one is a little, a bit more powerful than the other one, I guess is what I say, what I wanted to say. One is more powerful than the other one. This could also be a karmic soulmate card. Uh, two of Cups is a soulmate. But I feel like there may be magic work going on here. And that could be why this person could maybe intuitively feel it. And maybe that's why she doesn't trust this person. Because this person could be, or this could be two separate people doing magic to try to break up this connection. I feel something about these two people trying to do something to this energy here. And I'm seeing dark, 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 very dark energy here. Manipulative, planning, plotting, scheming energy watching like in intently they could be watching you somebody's watching you and they have dark energy i'm telling you this card has dark energy with it i don't know that's just the way i see it and it's usually a really nice card it's usually a love card but i'm feeling a lot of darkness in it
Yeah, but this person is wishing for this. I feel like this person is just still in, like, not... I feel like if they aren't with somebody, that other person is still lurking around. That other person is still connected to them somehow, but it's dark energy, okay? Is there anything else you can show us? That's a possible, uh, that is in your possible outcome as like the last card is this Two of Cups, which is really a soulmate connection card, great and everything, but somebody somebody that's attached to them dark energy wise is still around. That's all I'm going to say. That's the possible outcome for that. But I feel like you are wish fulfillment to someone. And I feel like if this were to come to be and you would let your guard down and truly trust this person, perhaps, that there is a chance that you guys could be very, very happy together. However, I'm... I don't know. I don't trust this. I just don't trust it. Not with this showing up at the end. I don't trust this. What does he come to you and meet you and hook up with you and is all happy afterwards and all dreamy afterwards only to take that energy back to this dark energy soulmate connection? That's, that's what I'm wondering, person watching, if this is making sense to you. Oh, I just don't like that feeling. You are their happiness. You are the happiness. I think you're already happy, actually. I think you're happy and just fine all by yourself. That's what it looks like to me. You're happy and you're fine all by yourself. Otherwise, we could be talking about a Leo. Or this could all go down in Leo season. I could see that, too. This could all go down in Leo season. What's Leo season? Is that That's not September, is it? It's August. Yeah, August, yeah. Your person could be a cusper. Yeah, I think if they do come to you, it, it may feel like, very much feel like wish fulfillment to this person. Yeah, they may be very, very dreamy and, and may know and be thinking about what would it be like. See, they're dreamy. What would it be like if we were together what kind of life would we have had? La 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 la. It's very, it's all very dreamy. But meanwhile, they're taking that energy back to, um, they're going to be taking that energy back to a, like a karmic soul, soulmate, like a dark energy soulmate connection. And just, they're both watching you. Like, what? That could go down in Leo season. All right. Clarify this Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Cups. Clarify this Two of Cups, please. They could be very happy with this, um, with this darker energy soulmate. They could be, they could be happy. You know, perhaps their energy matches a little bit better because it sounds a little fishy to me anyway. Ten of Wands, yeah, this person's going to be very, very burdened if they go back here. It's going to turn from happy to burdened. Wow. Because, you know, if they come and, and see you again, and that makes... Look, remember I said this guy's going to be really, really happy and excited to see you. Look at how dreamy they are and what they're dreaming about with you. Then they go back to this... They go back to this person happy, and then they get drained by a karmic soulmate. <sighs> yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> All right, just be aware, person watching. Um, let's see, what are we talking about here in signs? Maybe that'll help lots and lots of cancer. I wouldn't be surprised if the person watching, if you guys are a Cancer, okay, if you're a Cancer, but we um, we have more water here. We've got air signs, Cancer. 
Um, more air. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Air. Fire. Um, Aries. Fire. Cancer, Pisces. Um, air sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. More Cancer, right? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Earth signs here. Um, air. We've got a little bit of everybody, but it's really heavy on the Cancer. Okay? Just so you know, that might help. Anyway, um, I hope this resonates. Um, if it does, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's keep it rolling, right? Um, otherwise, you know, you guys, good luck with this and peace out.